Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're a couple of nerds in love that just love scoring movies and reviewing movies and ranking movies. So we started a YouTube channel to do that. Yeah, and it all started with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but we do plan to branch out to other franchises such as Harry Potter, the DC Universe, and the Batman films, uh, and so on and so forth. But in addition to ranking them, we've actually developed a score sheet. Yeah, so that's what makes our rankings different than other people's rankings, is that we actually have a, a score sheet, and based on the score, that's what we use to rank each film. It's not necessarily just what our opinion is, it's our opinion of their score, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's our opinion, but of very specific things. Yeah, so yeah. Up a score. Yeah, it's, so it's scientific, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, we're going to dive into our ranks and scores of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 2 films. Now, the lowest scoring film in Phase 2 was Thor The Dark World. But it did score higher than almost every film in Phase 1, with the exception of The Avengers. This film had the biggest scoring gap we've had so far, with Bethany giving it an 83. And Ken giving it a 51, which gave it a total score of 67. There were definitely more than a few spots where our scores differed. Love Story. Zero. Didn't buy it one bit. I did buy their moments apart, where they were longing for each other. And so for that reason, it gave a score of one. I like um, how the, the best part of the love story that you could say is when they're apart from each other. It's <laughs> I really bought that these actors were both in a long distance relationship thinking of someone else. I think love exists better when two people are together <laughs> instead of when they're apart. Dialogue. Dialogue got a one. I gave dialogue a two. And again, I think this is entirely because of Loki. I'm not even thinking about the words as much. I'm thinking about Loki's facial expression, like when he goes in front of Thor. Well, we don't have a category for facial expressions. I'm sorry. This is dialogue. <laughs> you said, man, it's a one. Drop your score down one no, point. Drop I'm it down one point. It's a two. This film score was helped with perhaps the most side characters we've scored so far. Nine total. With Loki saving this film and earning most central side character. If it were easy, everyone would do it. Well, the first Avengers was by far and away the best ranking film in phase one, according to our score sheet. The second Avengers really didn't fare as well. While Captain America and Iron Man were still considered our lead characters, there was less focus on them. And this Avengers movie felt more ensemble based, which unfortunately meant that we never got enough of any character in this movie. It also wasn't as funny as the first Avengers, despite its best efforts. Romanoff, you and Banner better not be playing hide the zucchini. Avengers Age of Ultron earned a score of 83 from us. Up next, is our favorite Iron Man film. Iron Man 3 nearly doubled the first Iron Man score, coming up just shy of triple digits with a score of 99. But the original Iron Man film laid the groundwork so that we could become invested in Tony Stark and Pepper Potts' journey, resulting in us liking their love story the most in Iron Man 3. This was also the best score and plot an Iron Man film has ever received. While it lost some points for absurdity, there were enough deliciously unexpected twists to keep us entertained. This is the Mandarin? I know, no, it's... it's... It's embarrassing. As well as more than enough laughs. Can you feel that? We're done here. Heading into our top three scores for phase two is the tiniest Avenger, Ant-Man. He's a little guy. Ant-Man was a solid film all around, with two very strong leads in Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. It's Paul Rudd, like he's so sweet. <laughs> like you just, I'm like, he's, the man is marriage material. Boom, he's not okay. like a dirty one night stand material. Thor is dirty one night stand material. <laughs> Scott Lang is married to There weren't any glaring holes in this movie, as it performed well across the board in just about every single one of our categories, earning it a score of 108.5. Our second ranked film from Marvel's Cinematic Universe Phase 2 is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. This was a quintessential action film, earning a 24 from both of us in action sequences, which matches the top score Avengers posted from Phase 1. So I gave visual effects a score of four. I'm still on page from Bethany out here, okay? I gave visual effects a four. When I think of visual effects, I think of course of the CGI. There wasn't a ton of great CGI or anything. Obviously like bringing down these giant ships and, and the flying through the air and that there's no question that there was CGI in this. So I'd say, oh yeah, there's not like a lot of CGI in, in this film. And you're like, oh, there's a ton of CGI. The CGI is all over. And then she goes on and lists like 50 different CGI things. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I, I mean, it just goes to show you the CGI was so good in this that Ken really thought Sam Wilson was flying She's through the air. She was flying through the air, and okay? And airplanes were really dropping from the sky. I mean, not airplanes, like battleships in the air. I mean, so that just yeah. goes to show you it was very realistic. 
it was very realistic, you know? I mean, they had to sign a lot of waivers in order to be able to shoot all that stuff. They did, baby. They did have to sign a lot of waivers. There's like no CGI in this. That was 100% real. It also ranked high in female empowerment, due in large part to Black Widow, but also because the movie didn't force a romantic relationship between our two lead characters. Public displays of affection make people very uncomfortable. Yes, they do. This movie was leagues above the first Captain America, posting a score of 111 and would make anyone an instant fan of both Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanoff. Which brings us to our top scoring film from Marvel Phase 2, which just so happened to edge out the Avengers. Guardians of the Galaxy barely edged out Avengers from our top spot with a score of 134.5. It's the only film so far to score a four in our soundtrack category, and so far has the highest humor score through the first two phases. I think you're sandbagging this film a little bit, because there's some moments where I heard you laugh and I didn't see you mark it you know, a sheet on there. I went back and one, I marked twice. No, there, yes, no, there was a couple yes. times you didn't do it. Uh, one with Gamora's Kevin Bacon line. You even laughed when I repeated it in, in my, you my, my there, review. But... Yes, yes, I did, I did, because you're sandbagging this film. And while Ronan wasn't our favorite villain, he was powerful enough and crazy enough to score high in a couple of our villain categories. It fared well in our side character category, with Rocket earning most central side character honors for bringing the humor and heart to this film. Oh, yeah. So that wraps up our scores for Marvel Phase 2. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. That way you can catch all our reviews and all our scores and you can debate us on the different scores and the different points. You know, we'd love to hear from you. That's why we, that's why we made the score sheet available to you because we want you to score it too and that way we can factor your score in along with ours. Yeah, and if you want even more in-depth analysis, Follow along in our podcast, where we definitely go a little more in depth as to why we gave mm. the scores the way that we did. And this way you can follow along for all that there is to know about our rankings for every phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, because we stand by our scores. Mm -hmm. we, think they're, we think they're pretty legit, but we realize that... They're definitely not definitive.